Nola Gent here in Chattanooga, Tennessee at Rubber Drifters. Good stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. Join us on our Tennessee travel blog tour of Chattanooga, Tennessee restaurants as we visit River Drifters Restaurant. When doing your Tennessee vacation planning, make sure to visit River Drifters if you're looking for where the locals eat. Our restaurant review videos in Chattanooga, Tennessee will take you on a tour of good places to eat in this great area of Tennessee. River Drifters is located in Chattanooga, Tennessee at 1925 Suck Creek Road, right next to the Tennessee River Gorge and Signal Mountain, which is about seven hours and 495 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This restaurant opened up back in 2018, and since then this location has become a favorite spot for both locals and tourists in Chattanooga, as they have great food in their restaurant along with running paddle boards and kayaks. This place also has a great bar scene as well, and it's a great spot for both the beautiful natural scenery along with offering plenty of fun times. This view really is fantastic, and it's great to be able to enjoy such a natural, beautiful spot along with such a fun place to go. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So you can see they also have free beer, topless bartenders, and false advertising. And it's a nice little cozy spot in here with a bar area on one side and then this more dining room area here to the right. So this is a nice little spot in here if you want more of a sit-down restaurant experience. And they also have a cozy couch right there to kick back and relax a little bit in here. And they had an older restaurant before this spot. And so their tradition of great food and good times has continued from their old spot to this spot. And you can see that they really do have a decent amount of space in here. And it seems a little bit more spacious inside than it looks from the outside. So it's almost like Doctor Who Time Lord technology going on in here. And of course, you gotta have a big fish as well, right? I don't think those come out of the Tennessee River though. So overall, the ambiance inside is quite nice with your option of the more bar side area here or the dining room area that we just investigated. Now, I'm by myself, so I'll be setting up at the bar for my dining experience. And they got a great big canoe above the bar as well, so they certainly go with their theme of being a river drifting spot. So the napkin holder here tells us our kitchen is small, but our flavors are big. We can assure you the kitchen staff is working as quickly and efficiently as possible to prepare your food, sit back, chillax, and enjoy our casual atmosphere by the river. We value your business and appreciate your patience. The crew at River Drifters. So let's check out the menu now. We have hot off the panini press, the big Cubano, the chaser, the chazzy moto, the granny G, the rosy, the hot Italian. Then we have po' boys with jumbo shrimp po' boy, fried catfish po' boy, gator po' boy. And we have salads with a side salad, a really good salad, and Nana's Grilled Chicken Salad. And we have Little Drifters with chicken tenders, half ham and cheese sandwich, half turkey and cheese sandwich, half grilled cheese sandwich, the Little River Burger, mac and cheese bites. Then we've got the two-handed sandwiches with the full Monty, Magnificent Meatball Sub, Big Philly, Cranberry Pecan Chicken Salad Croissant, Fat Boy Heaven, uh, forget about it, an inside out bacon grilled cheese and a shot of tomato soup, Applewood BLT, River Drifters Club, Whiskey River Reuben, The River Monster, two-handed, desserts, a lava cake, a root beer float, ask your server about specials, then sides, we have chips, slaw, beer battered fries, potato salad, smoked gouda pimento cheese, chicken salad. On the other side of the menu, we have shareables with mazalogs, redneck egg rolls, pimento crostini, meatball and mozzarella skillet, sheet pan barbecue nachos, mac and cheese bites, pretzel sticks with beer cheese dip, white cheddar bites, vegan flyer from rivers and seas, jumbo fried gulf shrimp, jumbo shrimp cocktail, catfish and the fixins, spicy gator bites, Captain Charlie's coconut shrimp, Shrimp Lover's Feast, Fish and Chips Basket, Jumbo Lump Crab Cakes, Fish Tacos. Then we have River Drifters Burgers with Bison Burger, Double Drifter, Kicked Up Breakfast Burger, 
Bruno's River Melt, Italian Stallion, Delish Mushroom and Swiss, Black and Blue, Dirty Cowboy, Blue Maui Wowie, Beef and Reef, then we have Chicken and Q with Chicken Tenders and Fries, Wings, Bourbon Barbecue Sandwich, Boss Hog, Suck Creek Cod Chicken, Grilled Chicken Sandwich, and Teriyaki Chicken Pita. Then we have Daily Specials. Monday, $7 double cheeseburgers, add a side of soft drink for $5. Tuesday, buy one appetizer, get one half off. Wednesday, $1.50 wings, buffalo barbecue, garlic parmesan, sweet teriyaki, boom boom, and sweet Thai chili ranch or blue cheese, 50 cents. Thursday, $2 domestic beers, 4 to 10 p.m. Friday, all you can eat catfish, $15.99. Saturday, ask about chef specials. Sunday, $5 mimosas, 16 ounce, smoke on the water, smoker specials. Then we have today's really great chef specials, the Big Kahuna Loaded Pineapple, one half pound of grilled chicken breast and four jumbo gulf shrimp smothered with sauteed brown sugar, pineapple, red and green peppers, sweet onions, and blistered cherry tomatoes. Topped with teriyaki glaze, cheddar cheese, cilantro, fresh squeezed lime juice, and coconut, served with three flour tortillas and tri-colored tortilla chips. Smoked cream cheese appetizer, eight ounce block of cream cheese covered with Cavender's Greek seasoning, slow smoked and covered with Braswell Farms red pepper jelly, served with wheat, pepper, and poppy and original water crackers. So I totally had to go with the Big Kahuna Loaded Pineapple. That thing sounds fantastic. Look at it. Ooh, this looks amazing. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to dig into this. Oh yeah. These are really nice shrimp too. Mmm, all right. Oh yes, this tastes fantastic. It's overall sort of a simple concept, but the flavors in here are amazing. <laughs> Now, if you check out my face here, the bar has some kind of disco lighting thing going on. So the lighting is awful for filming. Kind of fun to hang out here, but uh, I'm definitely getting a lot of bluish color disco effect. So look out, we need a little disco music here to uh, go with the theme. So I probably would have been better off sitting at one of the tables, but oh well, I guess I have to suffer through this weird lighting at a certain bar and enjoy myself, but oh well. Man, this chicken is also fantastic. This is such deliciousness of so many good flavors going on here. The shrimp and the chicken and the pineapple and all of these stir fried veggies here are just so, so nice together. Oh man, the coconut really kind of comes through as well. I am uh, quite amazed at how wonderfully delicious this all is and how it all really goes together. I don't even have time to use the tortillas or these little chips. The flavors are all so fantastic. I don't need anything else. I'm just eating this straight. I really am enjoying this. I might have to try to replicate this uh, and cook it on my own sometime. Whoa, this is just a little tropical medley of paradise inside my mouth with each and every bite. This is really a fantastic meal. I am just uh, kind of blown away for a lunch special that is a pretty large serving, man. This thing has been a lot of food and it's taken me a while to take it down. And each and every bite has been a flavor sensation. So the uh, disco lights might even go along with the theme of this wonderful tropical paradise experience I'm having in my mouth right now. Oh, yes, and just like I've totally destroyed this stuffed pineapple, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below let me know what you thought about this fantastic special. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. I do it for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bell arrived, and the total was $19.10 before tip. I enjoyed my lunch so much, I came back for a beer and a burger for dinner. I got the Blue Maui Wowie Burger, which is a double stack premium beef burger with blue cheese, teriyaki glaze, grilled pineapple, pickled red onion, and buttered brioche to keep with the tropical theme of what I had for lunch with that great pineapple. Let's see if this burger is uh, anywhere close to as good as the pineapple was. Yeah. Whoa. All right. This is quite a beefy, delicious burger. This is uh, quite a nice burger. I'm really enjoying the flavors here. Each and every bite is chock full of flavor. Now, it's not quite as good as the pineapple, I'll say that, but as far as the burger category goes, this is a pretty darn good burger with lots of juicy deliciousness in here. 
So all these flavors are going together very, very nicely. Each and every bite is a real pleasure to chop down into, I've got to say. So this is another very pleasant dining experience. I'm really, really enjoying my food at River Drifters. I'm quite impressed that uh, they really knocked it out of the park with both of my meals today. Man, this is a quite a hefty burger as well. I'm not going to be hungry after this rather larger size burger. They definitely have put some really nice meat on here with all these other flavors. Very juicy, delicious. And it's got really great structural integrity, all things considered. The bun's fantastic. It's holding everything inside really, really well. The meat and bun ratio is absolutely perfect. Ah, so this is uh, just really not got anything really to complain about. It's been a pretty perfect burger overall. And look, oh, a little pineapple goodness right here to finish off. And then guess what this is? Oh, 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 you might be thinking, oh, just some boring potato salad. Oh, no, no, no. This is chicken salad. So I'm having a nice protein extra bonus round here. So, mmm, and this is really good chicken salad too. That was a big chunk of breast meat there. So this is some fantastic chicken salad. This might be the best chicken salad I've ever had. This has been a really fantastic meal. So just like I totally destroyed this food, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you thought about this burger. While you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon account as I do it for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the total for my meal and a couple of beers was $28.94 before tip. So thanks so much to everybody at River Drifters for some fantastic food and some great times. I'll definitely be back. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nola Jet channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolajet here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.